Geraldine here. Um, so I told you all last time that I'd um, um, hit rock bottom several years ago, and some of you asked, what exactly is rock bottom? Do things actually get that bad? And yes, they do. Things do get that bad. I was destitute, alone. There's no one to turn to for help. Most of you probably don't even know that kind of loneliness, and, and I hope you never will. That feeling that you're stuffed in a cage, that that you're trapped and voiceless, and, and, and everyone is passing by without hearing you or seeing you. No matter how loud you try to scream, I felt this just desperate sadness in my heart that wouldn't go away. It was just helpless. <laughs> and the things I did for money. The things I won't forget. Not for a long time. <laughs> what would my old friends have thought of me then? If people saw me on the street, the things they would say. They, they knew what I was, and they shunned me. Prostitute. Dirty and hated. The worst of the worst. As though there's nothing so terrible as. So, what's the worst thing I've ever done? It's not that. I know very well what the very worst thing I've ever done is, and every single day I regret it and I wish there was something I could do to change the past. Years ago I had to leave my daughter in a foster home with a, a hotel owner and his wife, and that doesn't sound nearly as bad when, you know, consider. But I wasn't there for my little girl when she needed me. I abandoned my child. I failed in the worst way that a mother could, and all those times she was struggling growing up, all those times she needed someone with her to comfort her. She just had some strange woman, some other woman. She didn't have her own mother. Some of you might say, you know, you, you did the right thing, you did the right thing, and left her with a family who could um, provide for her and take care of her, and, and that's what I was hoping for, but how can I be sure? I could, have, I could have left her with the worst people in the world. There was nothing I could do. I was poor with nothing to my name, nothing but the clothes on my back, no food, very little money. And she used to cry because she was so hungry. It's a sound I never want to hear again. broke my heart to leave her, but I couldn't drag her through the streets any longer. She needed security. She needed a home. Someone who could provide for her and take care of her. And there was, there was no one else to turn to. <laughs> Not after he abandoned us. And here's the real trouble is I have no way to find her anymore. Um, the Tenardiers have disappeared, and the last I heard of my daughter, she was living somewhere else. Um, I hope she has a better life wherever she is, and I, and I... She probably has a better life than I could even give her now, but... Every day I just wonder if I had tried harder or, or fought harder. I've tried to build a life for myself and, and, and find Cosette again since that day. I've I found work, de um, decent, decent work, honest work. And I've been looking tirelessly for her, but I don't even know if I deserve to see her again. Is there redemption? Can I be redeemed for what I did? And I don't mean the work, I mean... I did to her. 
I don't know. And I still hold on to the hope that maybe, just maybe, I can find my daughter, and if, if I can see her face again, if, if I can somehow succeed in providing for her, I might be able to forgive myself. I don't even know what redemption means, but it feels like something you have to earn. If, if you've done something terrible, then you have to work to make it right and, and fix the wound that you've created. And finally, the person you've wronged has to forgive you. I don't know if I can mend the wound I've made in my daughter's life, and, and I don't know if she could forgive me for what I've done. For abandoning her. That's what I'm searching for. Some kind of redemption?